hey babies welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using yep sponges <gasps> i know it's crazy but um i'm pretty known for just using <laughs> brushes for every single thing but today today i'm going to be showing you guys ibox official sponges okay hey guys these are sponges shaped by the heavens okay when these sponges came I was so happy. I leaped for joy. You know why? Because I knew it was from a perfect place of happiness, okay? I knew it was coming from a brand that was based on everything of all goodness and everything that was, you know, should be appreciated. So I really want you guys to check them out. Um, I really love the sponges. I was able to get six, guys, six mini sponges and one glorious big sized sponge that literally does everything for me and uh i'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what it does in this video so sit tight enjoy the ride and um just enjoy the video <laughs> like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i'll be sure to get back to you guys when i am available which is pretty much <laughs> I don't even know these days because you know i'm really up and down with everything guys i'm really stressed out i don't know if i'm chill or i'm stressed out but guys i'm trying to get by i don't know how to say this in other words but life has just been getting really crazy i'm not having to balance all these things but guys i'm gonna make it through okay you know we as young people we gotta keep going we gotta keep our heads held high and we gotta get this shit moving okay you got life you gotta take take it by the horns okay you gotta take it by the horns and just get by and that's what we're gonna do and that's how we're gonna conquer the world okay guys stay tuned Okay, so what you guys just saw me using was a Maybelline New York Fit Me uh, concealer. And guys, I was in the shade 40. Um, I really like this concealer for my brows because it is just so like lightweight. It's just, you know, it does what it needs to do. It stays in place when I set it. You know what I mean? I said when I set it. Okay. Rewind when I set it. It stays in place. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. You guys are also going to see me use is the small sponge. And let me tell you guys, okay, you see the way that fit in my eye crease to set my concealer? I was just, I was in love, okay? Because all I had to do was take it out. And you could use it dry, but I personally like to get my sponges a little bit wet. And then I just let it get, like, malleable. And then I just pat my eyes down with it and it set perfectly. You guys are also that yellow brush you guys are seeing me use as well is by P. Louise. Um, I've went out and bought literally the base in the shade. What shade is this one? I think Rumor number five. And the brush set that I had literally gotten with that was really good. It's still really good. It came with the three different types of brushes that you could use for your eyeshadows, your makeup, your brows. And yeah, now a little trick um, I want to show you guys as well, just to make sure um, I never liked having my eyebrows in like the weird positions. Because you know, sometimes you're rushing and you realize the tail of your eyebrow is a bit too long when you reach the um, train station. So yeah, this is why I particularly do this trick. And this sponge came in so perfectly, guys, so perfectly to do what it needed to do. And I think that deserves a medal. Okay, guys. And um, yeah, after that, I just got my setting powder with my Real Technique brush. And my setting powder from MAC. Um, and I think NC45. Guys, all the names of the products are going to be listed in the description box below. Let's check it out. Press the little upside down triangle and it will let you know everything about what is inside this video. If I don't mention it in this voiceover. Okay, because I don't think I'm going to mention everything with what I'm trying to do here, you know. Um, so check out the description box. Just saying. <laughs> so yeah, I'm able to mix my perfect perfect guys i should have done this sooner um but i literally didn't think of it until the other day when i recorded this video but mixing those foundations the way i did i absolutely absolutely loved the ratio it gave me the perfect undertone that i needed and it just you know it did what it needs to do um hindsight i always usually go for like a more earthier tone for my foundations everybody knows this i feel i've made it very clear it's better to do this to go down than it is to go up or even on the same level as your skin tone because then when you put the highlights on and you put the concealers on and stuff like that it's just it's gonna boo, it's just gonna do evil things to your face okay girl don't do it to yourself okay as you guys saw as well the technique i'm using with these sponges is using different areas of the sponge to get my makeup across so if you guys noticed i used the flat area so the surface area of the sponge the flat area i use that for the patting on of the foundations and just like making sure that the foundation was getting blended in nicely and i use a tip of the brush 
there I go again using the word brush I'm just like oh you used to it I need to get out of that habit using the sponge tip to just put the concealer and blend in my concealer to make sure that it did what it needed to do and the concealer that I'm using is by P. Louise um it's not really a concealer it's a base so that's why I think this is the darkest shade it comes in unfortunately which is number five in rumors but um not sponsored at all guys i'm just letting you guys know the products that i'm using because i am trying to expand and, and you know try out new products i get so used to using products that i get um i don't want to let them go and i keep them there when i just need to just you know try new things so that's why i went out and i did what i did i have a lot more different products that i'm willing to try um and bring towards the channel very very soon so stay tuned because i will never ever come on the channel and just like start using products that i have not loved or grown to love or grown to like in some way shape or form do you know what i mean so yeah um using like i said the tip of the sponge the lovely ibox official sponge i'm just blending out that um base um and i don't think this base is really even supposed to be used for this but i'm using it as this anyway because i feel like the shade just did what it needed to do for me i don't really like concealers that blast out my face i want it to kind of like look as natural as i can um because the look that I'm going for is just like, you know, just chilling, vibing. But I'm going to be a bit glamorous type vibe, you know. I'm going to be chill, but glamorous. You guys can be chill. We're going to be chill and glamorous. So that was the look that I was going for. So, yeah. um, And I just really love the way that it all came together in the end. For my contouring, I'm using a concealer by NYX or NYX, some people might say. Um, <laughs> and it's in the shade Deep Walnut. Um, I'll read the code out too, but it looks like a bunch of gibberish. So, guys, I think if you type in Deep Walnut, you'll definitely get it. Okay. So, it's 24 hours, this, this concealer. And it's especially why I use it for my contouring because I want it to stay in the right place. Um, I really love this concealer for the purpose of contouring, particularly because it just it's nice and smooth. It warms up really nicely, and when I blend it with this lovely sponge again, guys, just look at the way that this sponge does what it needs to do. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so using that same sponge, I just like, you know, blend out my life. <laughs> yes, we blend. We blend away. We blend away with the wind and stars and sky. Could you stay in a night? you stay in So, as you can see for the notes, contouring has never been easier. I will never stop doing this method, okay, of contouring for my nose because I didn't think, I didn't think, I didn't think about this until these sponges came to my house, guys. So yeah, that was just that was just what it needed to do because it didn't over accentuate my bridge. It didn't. It didn't. Um, you know, ruin my features. It just sat where it needed to sit, okay. It sat in the right seat, okay. There we go. And then, yeah, just getting my um, contour brush by Real Techniques again. Um, using it hand in hand with these sponges did a really good thing for me personally because, you know, it's like when I did the wet, I felt like I needed to mat up a little bit. I just got the, the brush and I patted it in just to keep it, keep it there nice and steady, nice and steady. So, yeah, and then I just got my sponge um, and just patted my um, mixture of Benai Banana, <laughs> not Banana, guys, Benai Topaz for that, you know that warmth that we need and <laughs> the um, banana powder by uh, revolution i believe and i mixed those two together in my shebang shebang i did a few more you know peppers and spices and everything nices and i put it in this thing together to make the perfect setting sponge for myself one day i do dream i do dream for you guys to experience this setting powder along with me and yes, as we Roblox our face, we are then going to get our brush and just brush in our warmth with our lovely True Complexion palette that comes with warm shades and a lovely highlighter, which I barely use. But when I do use it, it does go on the edge of my eye, eyebrow bone. <laughs> yep, it does love the brow bone. That highlighter when that palette is specifically for the brow bone. Okay, if you ever notice anything on my brow bone, that will be the highlighter that I use for that specific area. That is the only thing I use the highlighter for, but we want to nobody else. Okay. 
Does anybody else have a beauty mark on their shoulder like that? Comment down below if you have a beauty mark on your shoulder like that. That would see I mean, you got a beauty mark on your shoulder like that, baby. <laughs> and yeah, just using that um, brown shade <laughs> inside the palette, I'm going to just accentuate my nose. I'm going to bring out the shapes. Bring it out of the shapes, what I'm bringing out. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my lips. I'm going to bring out that shape. Okay, bring out that shape with my lovely and trusted MAC lip liner in the shape. One, two, three. Chesnut. Or chestnut. <laughs> I'm going to be taking my Kiko lip gloss. You guys saw that in the shape. Oh, it. Should I keep saying? I know it sounds like I keep saying shape. I mean shade. Okay, guys, I mean shade. I'm going to take it in the shade 08 and put it on my lips. I love that shade. That shade does glorious things, as you guys can see. As you guys can see, it does glorious things. And then just brushing away that, that setting powder, I'm gonna be taking my brush just to you know take away that that powder that did what it needed to do. I have to say it did what it needed to do. And there we have it. We are almost done with the look, so we're gonna just add our lovely humanable features such as our blush to make it like there are blood running through our veins you know what i mean don't listen to anybody that says your complexion doesn't need blush everybody needs blush something something feels like it's missing and i don't know exactly what it is highlighter <laughs> this is the revolution vintage lace intense metallic cream powder highlighter that comes with four different shades of highlight that i feel work great all together just swipe it like swipe on no swiping type thing and it will make your life very easy very gleamy very 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 nice so guys do that 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 dgr dgr do that 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 do